Hello guys, and today I'm going to show you a brand new feature, well it's about a week old actually, but it's a new feature in Windows 11, which many of you won't have, which shows crosshairs on the screen. Um, where the site, almost like um, sites that the military would use, okay? And when you see it, you'll understand immediately what I'm talking about, okay? Particularly if you've seen um, movies where they have snipers, rifles and things like that. Now, if I go, at the moment I've brought up the settings. And this is the only way I can do it because, yes, you might say, why aren't you using screen recording technology or screen recording programs? Well, the truth is they just don't work. This, this technology is so new that they will not work with screen recording programs. So therefore, I have to do it this way by using an iPod touched recorder. Now from settings in Windows 11, you've got an option called accessibility. Yes, I know my screen's a bit dirty. Um, and here you'll notice one of the options is mouse pointer and touch. And now there's a brand new feature called pointer indicator. Add crosshair effect to better locate mouse pointer, keyboard, shortcut win plus control x but i've done this so that you can see it yourself i just switch this on and you'll see immediately when i click this on toggle you'll immediately see the effect immediately and now when i move the, the mouse i now have the crosshairs effect now i don't actually use a mouse i actually use um a trackball but it wouldn't make any difference you know and now if i go back and i Switch off the effects, it's got pointer indicator. I click on off. Magically it's disappeared and I'm just back to normal mouse again. And this is to help disabled people who wonder where the mouse pointer is on the screen. You still see the mouse pointer, but you also see the crosshairs so that people can easily see. Um, and this doesn't just work in the set in the um In the settings, it works in Notepad. So I can, for example, type some rubbish into Notepad. And also, for example, even if I'm using Google, you'll see it appears on Google as well. It appears anywhere on the system, anywhere in Windows. It might not work on, like, if you've got any arcade games or something like that, but... Also, again, on YouTube, so if you really don't like me, you can um, move the sites onto me and then press the fire button. It doesn't it actually start playing a video, to be honest, rather than actually shooting me, but you get the idea, right? Um, that is one of my own YouTube videos, if you can't see, okay? Um... So yes, I'm going to I'm going to switch off the sound. I'm going to use myself as target practice here. Bang, bang, bang. I'm only shooting myself, so don't worry, guys. I'm, I'm not really. I don't really want to kill myself or anything like that. I'm just showing you guys the effects, okay? But it just flashing fire will just start and stop the video. Anyway, um, this is just from my YouTube channel, okay? So anyway, guys, um. That is the crosshairs effect in Windows 11, which is was released just over a week ago. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.